everybody and thank you for watching Just Up Right. My name is Jing Ruther. I'm a physical therapist. So this is part of the series of videos that I'm making uh, to help out the foreign trained physical therapists in different parts of the world uh, give them some idea on the useful terms and um, ways or means or processes uh, involved in applying to become licensed physical therapists here in the U.S. So, for today, we're going to uh, briefly uh, get an overview or do an overview of what is visa screen certificate. Okay, what is, why is it required and what it is for and how it is different from credentialing. Okay, so I'm going to share with you my screen. So I googled, um, let's see, visa screen certificate for physical therapists. So, and then I hit this type one review for immigration, FCCPT. So it will take you to this page and this is very helpful. I suggest that you go through this page. This is type one uh, review for immigration requirements. So for to apply for a type one. So what is a type one? So for immigration is a visa screening service. This is under FCCPT who need healthcare worker certificate uh, for United States um, citizenship and immigration services. So, <clears throat> so healthcare worker certificate. So what are the requirements in order for you to get this uh, HCWC? So this one are the requirements uh, to apply for a type one review for immigration service you must meet the following requirements uh, must have a bachelor's degree or higher in physical therapy must have a master's degree or higher in any subject uh, ddpt post-professional degrees offered by regional accredited universities in the united states are accepted must be eligible to practice physical therapy in country of education where the first professional degree was obtained. So this part here answered the question. One of the subscribers asked me um, if the Philippine um, license is required to apply uh, to become a physical therapist in the U.S. So EPS, according to FCCPT website, you must be eligible to practice so meaning you should be licensed in the country of your origin as physical therapist before they can process your application uh, must pass uh, the TOEFL or quality for TOEFL exemption so um, if you are a foreign trained you live you know you're not a national citizen uh, sorry a US citizen you must pass the TOEFL examination. So qualify for TOEFL exception um, usually, and you have to research to um, really confirm this. You know, uh, I have had you know classmates before, but they were U.S. citizen uh, or dual citizen who took their education for physical therapy in the Philippines. So for U.S. citizen, uh, or if they have immigrant visa and you grew up in the U.S., uh, you can speak English well, uh, you may be accepted from TOEFL, but you have to confirm this uh, with the state that you are applying with. Uh, or four to practice physical therapy so you must be sure that you can be accepted from a TOEFL examination do not assume that you are so confirm that with the state so a healthcare worker certificate is issued only if the following requirements are satisfied so verification of your bachelor's and master degree or higher 
verification of our licensure leg, uh, registration held since graduation. So your license as a physical therapist, uh, verification of TOEFL or TOEFL exception. So uh, once you take the TOEFL examination, uh, before the TOEFL examination, you have to indicate that uh, the results will be submitted to, it will ask you what organization. So if you're applying for FCCPT, you have to put in that they have the TOEFL should or Prometric, the company that um, gives the TOEFL examination, should directly mail your result to FCCPT or if you're um, applying under CGFNS, they should mail directly your result to CGFNS. Uh, you cannot submit the, the copy of the result of TOEFL from you to FCCPT or from you to CGFNS. It should be from office of the Prometric to the office of FCCPT or the CGFNS. It cannot be from you personally. Um, equivalency of CWT6, that is the most current coursework tool uh, that you must satisfy in order for you to be granted this uh, healthcare worker certificate and a minimum of 210 total um, semester credits. So, if you're wondering what is CW coursework tool number six, so if you, for example, Google coursework tool requirements, so this is uh, the one that will pop out and click that, and that will give you this uh, from the website of FSPPT coursework tool for foreign educated physical therapists effective january 1st 2017 so this is a pdf file that you can read on your own okay um so it will give you all the subjects that are needed that you must have in order for you uh, for them to say that your education is at the same level as uh, the required education level in the United States, okay? So you go through this, there's even a checklist of all the subjects needed. And at the end of it, you can see that here, there's a summary of credits, you know, that needed the uh, total professional education didactic credits of 68 minimum. Total clinical education hours is 1,050 hours, equivalent of 22 credits, and total credits is a minimum of 170. So, and they have definition of terms here. Okay, so this is very important. Um, usually, uh, if you graduated long ago, uh, and you're not sure if your um, curriculum is, uh, at the same level as the U.S. requirement as of now, you can talk to the school registrar and usually they are knowledgeable about the latest requirements. And um, for example, me, I graduated with a bachelor degree. So when I was processing, because it took a while for me before I can actually uh, process everything. So, um, by the time that I was processing my FCCPT, they have uh, requirements. I think it was CWT5 by that time. So I needed additional courses like pharmacology, you know, and competency, cultural competency, and other subject in order for my bachelor's degree to be a master's degree before actually FCCPT approved uh, my application. So there are schools in the Philippines, uh, physical therapy school that you can go to to take those additional subjects in order to upgrade from bachelor's to master's or um, from master's if you want to do a DPD. But right now, the only requirement uh, for you to be able to get here is actually a master's degree. Uh, 
must have a master degree or higher in any subject okay so and so these page is very important before you apply read the following information so the submitting of documents about the TOEFL requirement the schedule and the fee um, all the other document guidelines and you know uh, there's a link here education testing services this is the prometric the one that gives uh, TOEFL examination okay so again this part is under the FCCPT type 1 review for immigration okay. so in summary when you say visa screen certification uh, or you know the healthcare worker certificate it simply means that they're gonna FCCPT or CTFNS will analyze assess all the curriculum and the number of units that you have taken and if it is uh, at the same level of requirement required level of the u.s standard currently you know according to coursework tool in 2017 coursework tool number six and if you're missing some subjects they will let you know uh, but again the registrar of the school are usually knowledgeable of the additional subjects uh, that you are missing in order for you if you were a bachelor to go up into a master's degree what are the deficits that you need to fill up uh, or satisfy in order for you to uh, have a master's degree um, so that is that part is what we call credentialing so the study or the assessment of the curriculum that you have taken then they will also see if you have the ability to communicate in English listening speaking writing and reading so that's TOEFL so both the credentialing you know the number of units uh, or curriculum that you have taken plus are you able to speak in English and the other requirements but those two are the most important ones if you satisfy those requirements that they have posted here on the website then you will be granted the visa screen certificate but just like what I said in other videos visa screen certificate is not a visa on its own visa is not a keyword for that it's the screen so the visa screen certificate is just a requirement so that your employer or your agency will be able to um, file a working or an immigrant visa for you and you cannot file uh, uh, your own visa you can only file for a tourist visa in order for you to take the uh, physical therapy examination in Guam or in here in the US uh, but after that once you pass your uh, uh, national uh, physical therapy exam or NPTE the next step is for an employer or agency to file uh, the actual working visa or immigrant visa for you and one of the requirements for that is the healthcare worker certificate or the visa screen certificate and you also have to remember that this expires within five years so if after five years you're still in the philippines you and you haven't you know you don't have an approved working or immigrant visa then you have to apply for renewal of your visa screen certificate which happened to me um so it expired and i had to pay again for them to renew it uh and then i have to take uh, i had to take tofel again because tofel expired after two years you know so um, i had to examine again for that so there are other uh, lesser amount of required documents when you're renewing so that's why uh, there's timing for everything you should time it 
so that you don't need to spend so much money over and over again okay so if you have any other questions suggestions reaction comments just be nice and leave comment here and i will try to answer them as best as i can but do your diligence um research uh and do not just take this video as it is research on your own ask other colleagues for questions clarifications and you know if you have legal questions then ask the lawyer immigration lawyer to be safe and give you the most accurate answer so thank you for watching and stay blessed thank you so much for watching and remember to hit the subscribe button below it is for free for the latest video updates Thank you for your support and stay blessed.